This building will be a central focus of scientific advancement as well as research. It's aesthetically beautiful. It has a state-of-the-art design. The teaching and technology resources will be a beacon to great minds. Certainly start again with our donors, John and Leslie Malone, Princess Abigail, Kawana Nakoa, all of our other donors. Let's give all of them another round of applause. I want to focus on the word translational. There's a couple different meanings there, but one of them is to move across, to move from one place to another. And I think that's appropriate, because if you think about what's going to happen in this facility, we will be moving things. We'll be moving things from the bench, from the laboratory, into the hospital. We'll be moving from theory into practice. We'll be moving patients from disease into health. Leslie and I are very fortunate to be in a position to support uh, efforts such as this. Now, this one for us really checked all the boxes, right? Horses, that's good. Education, research, and uh, stem cells. See, as you get older, you appreciate stem cells and orthopedics, <laughs> both in your horses and in your neck, in my case, which CSU seems to be a practical place, a pragmatic place, a place that likes to produce real-world results. Here's to Wayne, the whole crew, and the future of the TMI. Aloha, Abigail. I'm sorry you can't be here with us. Mahalo. John and Leslie and Abigail are all terrific philanthropists, but also visionaries. As for having my name on the building, well, it's taken some time for me to get used to this, and I don't think I'm there yet, but it's an incredible honor.